What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty interesting video for you because I never thought that I would sit in front of a camera and talk to the camera because I don't think that I'm good at it. I think that I'm very scatterbrained. I think that I like to get everything out so I talk super fast to make sure that I don't forget everything or anything. I'm forgetting things already. The reason for this video today is because I have just put out a sweater, a couple pieces, and it has to do with anxiety. And I want to talk to you guys about my personal experience with anxiety and kind of let you pick my brain a little bit. I don't want you guys to think that I'm belittling anxiety or making it like a fashion trend or anything like that because it really has been a huge, huge part of my life. You guys will hear when I talk to you about all this and I'm gonna show you guys the side that I never thought that I would put out here. Hi Link, how are you today? Uh, these are the hoodies by the way. It says my anxieties have anxieties and the back says anxiety with the definition on it. I should not film here because there's another airplane but I'm just gonna keep going with it. So like I said before, I've had anxiety for as long as I can remember and I say that because I literally got anxiety when I was in elementary school. When I was little, I used to go to Germany every summer. Fun fact about me. My mom was a single mom and would send me to Germany for the summer so that my mom could work and I could spend time with my grandparents because you know they lived in Germany. I remember the first two years going I used to wake up and be like I'm so excited like I can't wait to go like I would count down the days to go and then maybe around seven or eight I started missing my mom and I started having really bad in separation anxiety and then it turned into me like crying myself to sleep and I remember I started that's when my anxiety really started but I didn't know what it was and my grandparents had never dealt with anxiety so they didn't know what it was and I remember saying like I can't breathe I feel like I can't breathe and my grandparents freaked out and took me to the hospital one day because when someone says they can't breathe that's really scary they took me to the hospital and they're like oh she might have air in her stomach from crying so much so they gave me these like little pills and I remember I didn't feel any better and I still feel like every so often I'd feel super nervous and like I couldn't breathe and I used to do this thing where I would go <clears throat> just to make sure that my throat was still clear. It really took a toll on me and I didn't know what it was at first so that's why it was really scary for me and this feeling just wouldn't go away. It never seemed to go away. And I remember from like 7 to 11, I started telling my dad in the car rides about it. I'd be like, I feel like I can't breathe and I'm getting anxiety right now which is making me so mad because I can't film this video. Exactly how old I was, I think it started around then. My dad would know better than I do but I remember being in the car and doing the same thing where I would, you know, <clears throat> or I would cough and then I would be like, I can't breathe. My heart would race and my dad would, my dad had anxiety. My, both of my parents deal with anxiety, but my dad deals with it a lot worse. And he would just say, you're having anxiety, like just breathe, it's gonna be okay. He would try and get my mind off it by telling me funny stories. Also shout out to my dad because you're a real one for that. But yeah, it was really, really bad. It was a really rough time in my life because I remember around then was when they started consuming my thoughts all the time and I couldn't really get away from it. Everything I was thinking about, everything I was doing, it would be in the back of my head like what if I get anxiety? Like what if I feel like I can't breathe? What if I pass out? I've talked about this before. I have a really big fear of passing out. And then when I was about 11, I lost my brother to suicide which was super, super hard for me. Obviously losing um, a loved one or anybody to suicide is really hard but that definitely took a toll on my anxiety and then the whole suicide thing where you know I couldn't get my head around why somebody would have wanted to take their life which, you know, obviously made it worse and then the whole death thing really freaked me out thinking that somebody could die and that they would never be around again really really got to me for my anxiety in junior high and high school was fucking horrible I remember specifically like in high school I don't remember what year it was but there was a couple days where I you know it was so bad that I was sending myself down to the nurse's office and I couldn't do anymore and I was like my heart is racing like I'm gonna have a heart attack like I feel like I can't breathe I'm gonna pass out and it's hard to talk to somebody that has never dealt with anxiety because they they don't they don't know what to say they want to like treat you they want to give you like like medicine almost like I don't know how to explain it I remember saying like no it's my anxiety but like I needed somebody to like help me cope with my anxiety and not it's I can't even explain it to this day but it was super hard and there's so many different forms of anxiety as well you know I know some people who you know they just want to cry and some people who you know just they have like social anxiety or you know some people feel, feel shaky and there's so many different symptoms I'm probably not even touching anywhere near all of them or that was super super hard for me because I felt like alone and like nobody you know in that space knew what I was going through. I want to say from like 8 to like 18, anxiety consumed my thoughts 100% of the time. And I know that sounds so over dramatic and so fake, but I promise you, I swear on anything, my thoughts were anxiety all the time. Anything I did, 
and it was fucking brutal like going through school like that and like even when I was like in elementary school like an elementary school kid having anxiety just sounds so fucking brutal my anxiety today I still have anxiety I still have it probably you know not nearly as much but like I do have something here or there during the day if I get through a day without anxiety it's a fucking miracle um, I wouldn't wish it upon anybody I think I'm blessed and cursed that I got anxiety at such a young age because I feel like now I I understand it more I know my coping methods I know that I'm gonna be okay that I've done it for 22 years now and that I'm not gonna pass out I haven't passed out my biggest fear is passing out and I've never passed out before knock on wood um, so yeah I just wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from my anxiety was a huge huge hu it's still a huge part of my life but it was a huge thing for me from like I said like eight ish to like 18. I remember calling my dad so many times and being like, it won't stop, like I can't control it, I feel like I can't breathe, like I'm going crazy, and it's just such a horrible feeling. I would not wish it on any person, and I am so, so happy to say that for the most part, my anxiety, it's still there very much, but it's under control, and I just want you guys to know that, you know, it did get decently better for me. Obviously, it's something that I still struggle with. I never thought that I would share this side of me, and I never thought that I would talk about this side, and I almost kind of tried to keep this side of me, like, in the dark. It's almost hard for me to talk about because it really did, like, fuck with me, like, big time. And it's really, honestly, relieving to tell you guys, you know, once you live with anxiety long enough, you'll find your coping methods, you'll figure out, you know, what works for you. I just wanted to tell you guys why I'm putting this sweater out there. If you guys want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, I totally understand. I never thought I would put a video out there like this, but here it is. And I wanted you guys to see a different side of me and kind of get a little bit deep on you. And that's the inspiration behind my sweater. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in a video soon. And there's a plane coming, so I'm just going to end this before I have to cut myself off. But I will see you guys soon. And yeah, bye.